Hi guys, Dave here for Dave Outdoors. When I go out camping, I like to sleep in my hammock and my blanket. And today I'd like to show you how I take that setup and turn it into its own backpack. Thanks for tuning in. The main part of the backpack is the blanket itself. The only other parts are some rope, which we use for uh, the back straps, and some Canadian jam knots for those. First thing to do is take the blanket and you want to fold it in half lengthways. So not the short end, but take the foot to the head. That way she ends up nice and short across there. Then it's just a matter of spacing things out evenly. Here's the, tent, the hammock tent fly. It's not gonna be very pretty, but it'll be, uh, it'll be functional. <laughs> Just sort of spacing it out on the inside like that. Got my hammock here. All the cords folded inwards. When I roll it up, I don't want anything hanging out the edges. Nice clean backpack. There we go. Got a bit of a border going around the outside there. Tree hugger straps. This is a Hennessy hammock, by the way. Comes with uh, tree hugger straps. Got a shemag. I tend to lay everything, just lay everything out. SOL escape bivy. This adds a lot of extra warmth at night time. That's just sort of laid in there. You don't want everything folded up on the edges here because then you end up with these big lump, lumps there when you roll it. So you can put some things in the middle and just pile them up a little bit like this just to get a nice flat surface. Okay, from there is just the stuff I would use for camping. Got a couple of cans of food. I'm gonna put them on either side. Again, trying to space the weight out evenly and get a nice smooth roll at the end of it. Um, I reckon a, a setup like this, you can pack enough for about two days camping, as long as you're close to a water source so you can replenish your water. But other than that, you can carry just you can pretty much carry everything in with you, in your haversack and in your um, your sleeping bag uh, backpack or your blanket backpack. So a couple of cans of food, you can carry more cans if you like, but the more freeze dried or dehydrated rations you carry, then the lighter it'll be, and the more flatter it'll roll. I should say the, the better cylinder shape it rakes, makes when it rolls. That's my um, lead lenser head torch. I stick that there next to the can. The can gives it a bit of a protection when I'm rolling it. Even a big uh, mug like that, sort of odd shaped, can go in as well. I just pack some stuff inside of it. That's my little camping kit, toothpaste, toothbrush, a bit of salt and pepper, uh, can opener, spoon, sewing kit, that kind of stuff. Toilet paper and uh, soap. Tucks right inside. Saw. That's about it for the roll. Or that's about it for the stuff that I have to put into the roll. Uh, you can you see you got more space you can carry uh, a lot more items But as you roll it up the blanket itself gets thicker and thicker just the blanket alone So adding everything inside your your roll could get too thick So that's why um, this sort of stuff is ideal if you can get down to sort of like minimalist camping uh, More skills rather than tools that you carry out there <clears throat> I've left a space in the middle because this is where it's going to fold over and actually this stuff Should be down like that on the end when I first start rolling, I'm going to grab this stuff straight away. 
bit of a tree branch there. Okay, final tidy up. Yep, looks all right. Then just start rolling. Roll it as evenly as you can. And even with uh, odd shapes like this, we got the handle of the mug sticking out. Just roll right over it. As you see, it just rolls right on up. Yeah, it's about the halfway point right there. There's a number of variations you can do on this, as, um, as I've seen and as I've practiced, but this is the way I tend to do it for myself. But just get out there, even in your own living room, you just practice and, and uh, do it as according to what is most comfortable for you.